Chinatowns across America first emerged in the late 1800s. It was where waves of Chinese immigrants could find people who spoke the same language, cooked familiar foods, and helped them assimilate. Many of these Chinatowns still exist and play a vital role for new arrivals, but some are under threat from gentrification. CCTV's Karina Huber visited Boston's Chinatown. The main concepts that we're going to be focusing in on is that of gentrification. Andrew Leong, who moved to the United States from Hong Kong in 1969, spends his Saturday giving a tour of the neighborhood he grew up in. The audience, a group of Asian American public school teachers. He's been giving tours of the area for about 30 years. It's not only historical, but it is actually a living community. It provides a, a fundamental basic service to recent immigrants to, to allow them to assimilate and transition you know, into, into the betterment of our society. Leong considers himself an activist fighting for Chinatown survival. The fight to preserve Boston's Chinatown is not new. After the neighborhood lost half of its land to two highways and a hospital in the 1990s, residents began to push back. They are pushing back again because of the threat of gentrification. Boston's Chinatown, which is home to roughly 12,000 people, is experiencing a luxury housing boom that is pushing up rents in the area. This condo, the Kensington, charges more than $4,000 for a one-bedroom apartment. Many of the existing immigrant inhabitants are facing eviction to make way for new construction or higher-paying tenants. On the main street of Chinatown, they start to raise the rent, and some of the maybe older, smaller businesses get pushed out. And even for residential, yeah, I can see that uh, every time I talk to customers, they say, getting harder and harder to live in Chinatown because the rent keep going up. Activist Karen Chen is fighting to keep housing affordable and has helped form a new Chinatown land trust that she hopes will have a say in what gets built in the area. The community built, you know, Chinatown. And now that because of all this influx of luxury development, we're being pushed out. And then, you know, the community is here to say, no, hell no, we won't go. The Chinese Historical Society of New England is trying to get some buildings designated as historic to save them from the wrecking ball. And the city says it is committed to preserving Chinatown. But Leong says the city needs to stop offering developers tax breaks and zoning allowances. If they don't, he fears the area will lose its character. It will wind up being a, a, a Disney-fied Chinatown like Washington, D.C., where the Chinese don't live there. Um, and it's a tourist destination only. So if you look at that, that building structure right there, you can see the outline of an older building with its chimney. Liang's hope in giving tours to teachers is that he'll inspire future generations of activists who can join in the fight for Chinatown's survival. Karina Huber, CCTV, Boston. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.